Today, I'm going to introduce you the best tool every IT technician needs to have. I've been using this tool for the past five years, and I think I'm a bit late introducing this tool to the public. I already seen a bunch of videos out there, but I decided to make one anyway because I've been using this for a long time. And I think I have some tips and tricks I can introduce in this tutorial that some people probably are not aware of. The tool, as you can see, is Vent toy. Basically, this tool allows you to have multiple image files, virtual disks on a USB flash drive, and it allows you to select those files, like in this example right here, this is the boot menu, it allows you to select any of these files and boot from them. There is no need for you to have five or six different USB flash drives that have different image files imaged on it because you had to use Rufus. Ventoy replaces Rufus. There are some scenarios you might need to an image of like some of the Linux distros onto a USB flash drive, but that's really rare. You can usually get away with Ventoy because Ventoy has some comparability issues. And that's why if you go to kind of off topic here, but I'm gonna show you anyway. If you go to tested ISOs, Whenever this loads, 2000 years later, there you go. And here's the list of ISOs. They tested it. You can click on full list. And if you scroll down, they have different versions here. And if you go to the side, they'll show you it works on legacy BIOS and UEFI uh, systems as well, or you want to call it maybe UEFI BIOS, but anyway, so yeah, that is it. So I'm going to basically show you on how to install this tool under Windows. If you're using Windows, most of you are probably using Windows. And uh, yeah, later on, there'll be another tutorial on how to use the actual tool. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So first thing, let's download the tool. So you're going to be downloading the Windows version. Of course, you also want to use this hash right here to verify that the file you downloaded is not corrupted or something else. There'll be a link somewhere in the video here on how to use this hash right here to verify that the file you downloaded is not corrupted. So yeah, click on the link, takes you to an external website, click to download the latest version right here, give it a few seconds, it should auto start downloading. If it doesn't, there's a little option here you can click to manually start downloading. Here we go. As you can see, I had to download it a few times because the next morning, I digress. So let's open the folder. Here's our downloaded zip file. I'm going to extract this. Extract to the same location where the downloads are. Nothing too special. It's going to open the file after, I mean, it's going to open the folder after it extracts it. I'm going to go into the folder and you present it with three executables. You're going to be using Ventoy to disk executable to install Ventoy into the flash drive. So we're going to run this executable. You're going to get this warning from your operating system, basically telling you a publisher unknown because this particular developer doesn't have a certificate from Microsoft or whatever they get those certificates. Nothing to worry here. Just hit yes or select yes. And then Ventoy opens up. So in here, we're going to select the flash drive where we want our Ventoy to be installed. Uh, in my system right now, I only have one flash drive connected. You can actually see the manufacturer, Petrid. And keep in mind, when you're going to be flashing or installing, and technically installing, depending how you look at it, Ventoy onto your USB flash drive, it's going to format and it's going to delete everything on that flash drive. So when you're ready, when you select the right flash drive, you hit the install. You get a warning message, data will be lost. You hit yes, and it's telling you again, double check, data will be lost. You'll be surprised how many times people think if they have another partition on the flash drive, it's not going to impact that partition. It's going to delete everything. So when you're ready, you know, you're going to delete everything on that flash drive. You hit yes again, and it's going to install necessary files onto the flash drive. After that's completed, you're going to get this confirmation message that it successfully has installed. You hit okay. And it shows you the current version that is installed right now on your flash drive. It shows you the current version you have right now, the installer, the package, 
and the current version on the drive. So you know you're fully up to date. And by the way, if you have an older version here, you just hit update and it will actually update the van toy on the USB flash drive. So at this point, you're, you're finished. You can start using it. And for that, I'll have another tutorial right after this. Now, I want to talk about a few features and understanding of Vento. I'm going to close everything out. What do you need anymore? So I'm going to go to this PC and this is the Vento partition on the flash drive. If I go to manage and I look at all of my partitions on the system, you're actually going to see two partitions on this removable disk, the USB flash drive. This partition right here, the 32 megabyte partition that is fat, has all the files that Ventoy needs to make it bootable. And this partition is basically where you copy all of your ISO files. So you can still even copy Word files. You can still treat it as a traditional USB flash drive. You're just going to lose some space right here, basically. And you'll get an option to boot from it. So for example, that's why there's a letter here. I can right click, I can explore this USB flash drive and I can start you know, making files in here and copying files. And also keep in mind, if you take this flash drive and you move it to another system, it's actually gonna attach a letter to this partition. I don't know if they patched this up. I'm not even sure why this is happening to be honest, but keep in mind, you're gonna see this partition having a letter if you insert the USB flash drive to a different system. And that's actually a, a nice thing to have because you'll be able to modify some files I'll be talking about later in another tutorial for Vento. But yeah, that's how you install it. And don't forget to watch the next video.